it's ridiculously early. It's way before I usually get up. So, what is it, before 7 a.m.? And we're just outside Rob's house, morning, about Danny. to head to Scotland, and I do oh, believe that's him now. One. Great, thank you very much. Morning. Rob. Don't you just love a 6 a.m. camera in your face? <laughs> we're interviewing the richest man in Scotland. His name's Jim, he's a billionaire. I'm excited about this one because I think it's going to be a bit different. What is it, about a six hour drive? Something like that. We've got to stop for a couple of lives and a Costa coffee at 10.30 a.m. Morning. How you doing, mate? How's it going? Uh, it's going well. An hour and 40 minutes ready. It's pretty good going. We're about to do a live but the make cash challenge, the supporters challenge part of Rob's supporters group, which is good. And we're gonna actually stop at either a services or a lay-by. I'm hoping a services, because I really need a Red Bull. <laughs> we're only an hour and a half in, mate. To I, like a... I don't do early. <laughs> we got up at, what, quarter past four this morning. Well, I do do early. I just don't cope with early. How are you, Harry? Very good, Kieran. Thank you for asking. Good. But the show's not about me. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to be in it. Harry, you're the star. You're the yeah. star. I'm reading the marketing report, which is a 31-page report which actually I really enjoy, although I guess most people wouldn't sit and enjoy reading marketing reports, but I do. Because marketing is the single most important function of any business. Good morning, everyone. I'm here with Rob. Say hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. <laughs> so we are traveling to Scotland today. So a huge, huge, huge mammoth of a road trip. So Rob, why are we traveling to Scotland today? Who are we going to because see? Because we are crazy. But we're going all the way up, bit of a road trip, get a, bit, a fair bit of work done in the car. I've got some unique questions for a guest that uh, is probably not that well known, yet he's a billionaire. I love interviewing unknown or not so well known billionaires. Laptops out, plenty of work done. You just get so much work done in the car because no one except Harry with a camera can distract <laughs> you and you making me do a story. Yeah. But other than that, it's great. And we'll check back in just Whoa, before. Look, at, look how um, this light makes my hairline look. Mine's all right. Yeah, yours all right. Yeah, you're 24, <laughs> you're 25. No, I do love working with Rob. It can be very challenging at times, not just working with Rob, that it just as in working with social media. Like, it's very performance driven, but on a whole, it's fantastic. Like, we get to do great things like this today. We're going on a road trip, and it's maybe an 18 hour day, but if you didn't love the job that you do, you couldn't do this. Another bit of service station music. This is Wet Wet Wet. This is my mum's favorite band, Wet Wet Wet. Right, I, how am I going to figure this out? Because I need that laptop for this live. Do you need it for the notes? I am doing a live stream to the supporters who are in the Make Cash Challenge and giving them day three actions for their eight day Make Cash Challenge. And do you normally do a lot of lives next to a microwave and a baby chair? Oh, I live in the dream. Who needs an office? All you need is a baby chair, a microwave. Oh no, internet. It's so, alright, I don't need it. You can log on to the Wi Fi. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually need it. They're gonna love it because there's some nice background music today for their, <laughs> for their live video. Love it. Hi, it's Rob Moore here. It's day three of the Make Cash Challenge. So we are in a service station, living the dream. I've got Harry here with me. Oh shit, I've done this wrong. Sorry, I'm doing it on the wrong page. Fuck. <laughs> How many years have you been uh, doing live for? Oh, I fuck up regularly. <laughs> you have to fail your way to success. <laughs> What's your favourite thing about Kieran? His hair. <laughs> I think he's got a good heart, Kieran. He's very committed. It's good to have someone who's got a lot of knowledge in health and fitness and is a, an influencer himself in social media. A lot of people who do social media don't really do social media, but Kieran actually has 35,000 followers on his Instagram. Hi, it's Rob. Welcome to day three of the Make Cash Challenge. How are you getting on? Are you making cash? Are you up to date with all your actions? Are you getting ahead? This is all important. If you have any existing clients at all and or any prospects, 
then you need to get a list of all of them on a spreadsheet. The selling starts today. The cash starts today. Get this, my son's teacher was teaching his class yesterday. And do you know what he said at the end to his students? They're eight years old, he said, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. That's freaking awesome. So remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. Boom. I think for this morning, I'm gonna post that Valentine's Day video to my page instead of doing a live. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's that, good. Yeah. Well, native, remember, so that's good. Length, yeah. It's a long video. Yeah. yeah, yeah, let's do that. I'll do that right now. Do you not feel embarrassed or self conscious about doing a live in front of a load of strangers in a service station in the middle of nowhere? You mean in front of four people <laughs> in a room the size of a football pitch? <laughs> no! Loads of people would, though. Yeah, but I mean, I'm tucked in the corner. What and advice would you give to somebody who would be self-conscious? J-F-D-I. Just fucking do it. I've got 2,467 supporters who all want to hear from me about this cash challenge and make a load of cash. Uh, I see it as more important to help them than to worry about how a couple of people might be... Look, they're not even looking at me. Hello? Hello? They're not even looking at me. I get why you're asking, because it's a good question, because I think people are self-conscious. I think if Arnold Schwarzenegger was sat there and Elon Musk was sat there, yeah, I might feel a bit self-conscious. That would be different. I still find you following me in the camera all around. I'm getting better at it, I think, but I still find that mildly uncomfortable. As you know, scripted content, I find a bit more uncomfortable than just the lives. So I think we all have our levels of comfort that you know, if we can keep pushing ourselves through, and you guys challenged me to do that. But now I've got a job to do. Get it done. JFDI. Even just vlogging a little bit, being out and about. It's a lot more entertaining. It's thing I would definitely watch. You should also watch. Come to subscribe. And subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Leave a comment. Feel free to share. <laughs> Follow me. And Rob. You know what Rob <laughs> said about you, Kira? His favourite characteristic about you. I actually have no idea, but I'd be very interested to hear about that. He said it was your hair. Really? Good. When I seriously asked him, he said, uh, your commitment, your heart, your work ethic, what's your response? That's good. That's made me emotional. Um, no, I'm, that's really good, because obviously my hair's a big part of it, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Moore's fine. If you ever want to have an anxiety attack, here's one right here. What's your favorite guilty pleasure music that you shouldn't admit in front of everyone? Old school house music. What about you? Probably Erasure. I've never heard that. Yeah, they're sort of fairly, um, relatively cheesy, somewhat camp 1980s music. So, have yeah. you got any permission for the camera inside the building? What just happened, Rob? Got told off like a naughty schoolboy. <laughs> Need permission to film video in a service station. L let me ask you this. You know, if you're doing a live mm -hmm. onto your Facebook, can they then stop you? Yeah, if you're doing any filming in a private premises. Even a live on your own social any, media? Any photo, oh, right. Because yeah. I bet you, if I was on my phone, he wouldn't have said anything. No, it's just a Yeah, but it's because you've got a great big fat camera. <laughs> Approached by this male makeup brand, what would you think to that? If I it's all about the price, yeah. it's all about how much you prepared to make yourself look metrosexual because, for. Because I'm worried about how that's going to come across and what people are going to think or say, or do you know what I mean? Because this discussion right now, imagine that on a greater okay. scale. Like imagine me having to, because I'm going to have to do a video in front of a camera of me applying makeup. Well, if you don't want to take that job, I'll take that job. Yeah? I'll do that. I think my fans would love that. Yeah, I reckon they yeah, would. I think if you do it, I mean, will they be really strict and you have to be serious, or could you do it in a bit of a light-hearted way? You could do it in a light-hearted way. It's your creative um, control. You have creative control. If you don't risk anything, you risk everything. Okay. I just want to let people's opinion on it, like, perception, because obviously... The world's come into a place now where it's very much accepted for men to do certain things now, but I don't know if we're at the stage where we can wear makeup yet. I think quite a lot of men wear makeup. Yeah. Isn't that James Charles, yeah. one of the biggest creators on YouTube, and he's like a man makeup guy? Male makeup guy, yeah. that's very true. And Maybe uh, that could Jeffrey be Jeffree Star and all that. Jeffree Star is killing it. And um, uh, Eddie Izzard. 
and he, 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 like, he's out there doing his runs and stuff wearing lipstick. Maybe I could be the first straight face of makeup. <laughs> no, you're getting an idea's a bit above your station. Now, right? Whoa! <laughs> I kill my dreams! I had one of them. That was my first nice car that was like that same car. Do you have a 350 and a 370? I never got the 370 because I never really liked the look of it. I didn't think it was... So you went had the 350 then went straight to the GTR? I went from... I went from 350Z, it was only two years old. Then I went to Honda S2000 convertible. You had an S2000? Yeah. You never told me that. No. Um, it, They're worth it, a lot of money now, mate. Yeah, it had, a, it had a really nice exhaust put on it, which wasn't too much, but it sounded great. But I wanted a convertible. And then I went from the S2000 to the Mercedes 350. Then I went from that to the Ferrari 430. And then from the Ferrari 430, I got a GTR and I had them both. So, my first car was a Mazda 323 Sport. If you don't film, we won't get kicked out. <laughs> Free tap water. What a benefit! Free tap water. Oh, I'm coming back. I'm coming back here for some free tap water. <laughs> Me and my coffee, we have a love affair. We have a we have an intimate relationship. Oh, Cornish pasties. Yeah, man, this is my life revolves around this. Medium skinny cappuccino extra shot. I tested every coffee. I tested Nero. I tested Starbucks. I tested uh, the um, what was what are those Nespresso machines? I tested everything. A lot of coffee makes me feel edgy. Some of it doesn't do enough. Some of it makes me feel a bit. Uh, whereas this one seems to give me hours of inspiration, ideas, excitement, little tickles in the stomach. Occasionally a little bit more that I couldn't say on a camera. It's fucking awesome. I reckon we're what, half an hour away and it seems the further north we go, the worse the weather gets. So I feel like we're in Austria now. It's pelting it down with snow. I was gonna say it's like we're in a different country. Technically we are. I badly need a wee, so it's probably not the best time to film me. Same, <laughs> like a solid 10. Or what, on a score of how full your bladder is mm. and how uncomfortable you are and how much you want to get that camera out of your face and throw it out the window. Like it kind of hurts. Yeah. <laughs> we are in a restaurant in Scotland and we're going to have a quick bite to eat and then we're going to interview Scotland's richest man. I like my interviews to be very relaxed. I like them to be conversational. So I've already done my prep. I already know what the questions are. I'm all good. Jim, how are you? Hello. Nice how to meet you? you. And you. And thanks for doing this. I hope it's worth your fun. Very <laughs> great. Well, it's, it's, nice to, it's nice to get out and away. Yeah. Yeah, sure. One take, one mark. Okay, you ready? Good yeah, time. yeah, yeah. You want to introduce you onto the live, Rob? Yeah, sure. Hi, it's Rob Moore here, and we've gone on a bit of a road trip. I am fascinated that you are an esteemed company that only a very few people are in the whole world. And I'm fascinated to know, what does someone who's got to that level know about life that us mere mortals haven't? You, you always have this mystique about, you know, if your business is bigger or you're more successful, you know, you get more stuff. It gets more difficult to keep track of everything. Sure. <laughs> the day I stop enjoying getting up in the morning just to interact with some of the things we're doing, I'll, I will pack it in. But it's more the journey that's the fun. You know, I think um, a lot of people uh, expect that when it's a destiny they're going to, but it's the journey that's mm. the real fun and excitement of it all. Would you define yourself as a businessman, an entrepreneur? Are they separate and two different things or are they something similar? I think the difference is you get a lot of people who are very good businessmen and they'll talk about doing their own thing. You know, I'd love to do this, I'd love to do that, but they just won't make that step. You know, I've had lots of people 
come and see me. Oh, I'd, I'd like to have my own business. But they're scared. They won't give up the security. Mm. Of, and, and that's the difference, I think. An entrepreneur will take the leap. Do you have an, an, an appetite or an attitude towards risk then that's maybe, I don't know, a bit more carefree or a bit less concerned than a lot of other people you know? The big risk is not doing something. Mm. You know, that, that to me is the big risk. You're not going to be able to move <laughs> forward yeah. um, unless you take some risks. Mm. The, the idea is to do as much homework as you can uh, to mitigate the risk. That's what I'm really focused on with all the businesses I've got. You know, really understand the market. Be the expert in the, the sector you're in. Learning about the competition, the markets, the products they're looking for. On behalf of everyone on the live and the podcast, and us, I just want to say a huge thank you, Jim. So yeah, thank you very much. Too. Thank you. All right. Are well, you guys thank all you set very to much. drive back down again? Yeah, yeah. we're ready. We're all good. We're very good. We're all done. Yeah. Nice car. One day. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Company. <laughs> I've got a thing for fat calipers. My personal favourite about thing the about Porsche, your Porsche is the, the massive fast, fast discs and calipers. The front brake calipers are like that, aren't they? The whole yeah. of the wheel. Yeah. They are actually massive. I didn't actually notice that. Oh. That's, they're huge. I mean, if that was a steak, you'd struggle to eat that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'd get through that. No, I think it went really well. It was interesting. Here's some great stories. Always surprises me when we interview billionaires. It's only the second one I've ever met, believe it or not. Um, but it always surprised me about just how humble they are as well, which is I find quite incredible. And what was nice about him is he told his failures as well as his successes, and most just focus on the success. So yeah, good interview, man. So we're in the car on the way home from the interview with Jim McColl. I've got four business plans to read, four 30 minute phone calls to do. Probably we'll try and clear WhatsApp and clear the inbox. It always feels so good when they are clear. Uh, we'll probably stop for a bit of dinner. I've got to do a live video for the Make Cash Challenge and then a live video on my page while we stop for dinner. And that's about it. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot to do to be honest. Mm living the dream really passionate about is people's perceptions around money and certainly a lot of people feel that billionaires are greedy power hungry ego driven and i think you'll see from this interview when it comes out on the youtube channel and on the podcast that jim is like the opposite of that very humble very grounded believes in treating people well and respect and um, he talks about being non-threatening in his meetings he's bought 50 odd companies i think i think he even might be 87 or something and he's even gone in and bought competitors he's gone in and bought companies bigger than him he also said at the end when i said um what's the best advice you ever received he said the best business to be in is usually the business you are in and i think there's a lot of wisdom in that if you sit and think about that awesome i'm gonna allow myself half an hour to chill so if you can fuck off off that video and you can fuck off off that video just for half an hour um, then I'm going to chill. Awesome, right, we'll leave you to it, right? <laughs> Thank you. Do you want to come back to mine and vlog me going to bed? I'd vlog, to. vlog me going to sleep. I'm doing a live home. A man's work is never done. I have to do the, the Q&A at the end of the day to see how they're getting on, if they want to ask me any questions about how they are getting on with the Make Cash Challenge. And we are living the dream in this luxurious service station. Hi, it's Rob. And it is day three of the Make Cash Challenge. This is about, what, just before 7.30 p.m. Uh, and I'm here to take any of your questions that you might have on how your channel has gone. <laughs> I'm trying to speak quite quietly because there are other people around and we are in a service station. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right then, so Reese, Reese's offer in bullet points for review. More money, am I generating more business, more leads, better relationships and rapport with people? Am I influencing people? Am I you know, dating? Yeah, 
out of my face. <laughs> all right, we're back home. Long day all the way to Scotland to interview the billionaire Jim McCall. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos just like this.